Hi there, this is Asaf from Opinion Stage. In this video, I'll show you how to create highly engaging quizzes using Opinion Stage. Quizzes are one of the most popular content types on the internet. Quizzes are so popular because they offer a great way to do many things, such as engage your audience, drive traffic to your site, educate about your brand, generate leads, drive sales, and much more. I'll first start by showing you the different types of quizzes you can create. I'll walk you through creation of a quiz, and show you how to share and embed it anywhere. And then we'll conclude. Let's get started. So I'm going to go to the template library and start looking at a few of the quiz types we have. So the first one I'm going to show you is called a personality quiz. In a personality quiz, you start by defining a few outcomes. And then based on the answers of users, the user will get the outcome that fits them best. So let's say, in this example, what type of exercise is best for me? I'm going to start the quiz and answer just a few questions. And then based on my answer, the quiz logic will determine which outcome fits me best. So just two more questions and I got strength. And then you can, inter you can put a call to action button and of course share it in all your social networks. Let's take a look at another example at a trivia quiz. A trivia quiz is kind of a knowledge quiz where you ask the user a few series of questions each time he answers, uh, you can show him if he's right or not. You can give him advanced information. Uh, and at the end of answering all these questions, the user will get a result. Let's take a look at another example, a lead quiz. So a lead quiz is focused on getting leads. And the way it does it, and very effectively so, because you can get up to five times more leads this way than with a contact form, standard one, we integrate a lead form just before we show the result of the quiz. So I'm answering these questions. And then just before the end, I'm going to ask for name and for Branch's email. Now you can make this mandatory or, or allow skipping it. But uh, what's important here also is that you get the results associated with the contact information. And that could be very helpful for segmenting the users. Now you get, again, a call to action and sharing like before. Um, let's take a look at another type, let's say a competition. So in a competition, uh, we challenge the users to answer the most questions in the least time. Like you can see, there's a timer over here. And then when you get the results, you can find the user that managed to get the most correct answers, uh, as I mentioned, in the least uh, time. And in order to do that, we'll also integrate a lead form here. And just before we complete, we got the end. Now, another one, I can take a look at the product finder. A product finder is kind of good for sales. You want to, uh, which present should I buy my dad? Uh, you answer a few questions that determine his preference, and then you'll show the result to the user. And he can shop for the item I recommended. Now, creating a quiz, you can either do it from scratch, you can go over here and create either a trivia quiz, those are the two kind of generic types, or a personality quiz, or you can start from a template that you like and use that. So for example, let's say um, I like, um, of course, just to mention that we have hundreds of templates and we can't cover everything in this video, but uh, you'll most likely find a template that fits your needs, or of course, you can start from scratch, as I mentioned. Let's say I like this quiz. Um, I'm going to click Use Template. What that does is copies this template from the template library to my items, and then I'm going to make some changes. Uh, what type of, let's say, outdoor activity do you like? Do you like um, fits you most? And then I can change, for example, all an image. I'm just showing you so that you can see that you can change every aspect. Here I can search for images and also verify that I'm allowed to use these images from a usage right uh, perspective. And let's say I like the way it's added. Um, and now this is a personality quiz. So I'll start by defining all the results, the different results. I can define a call to action, redirect for each one. And after I do that, I'll go to the questions, define them. And for each answer of each question, I'll associate it with one of the outcomes and then in this case, I'll give, for example, if he answers this answer, then I'll say, OK, for endurance outcome gets uh, two points and strength gets four points. If he answers this, then I'll give him 
a different point to each one of the outcomes. At the end, the outcome that got the most points will be the one that is selected. Now, there's a lot of different things you can do. You can randomize the answers, allow more than one answer. Uh, but let's say we made all the changes to this quiz for now and we want to publish it. So we're going to publish it. And after we publish it, we can also preview it to verify uh, that it looks uh, nice. Um, and if we are happy with the way it looks on desktop or on mobile, I'll show you some more features. You can integrate a lead form over here, as I mentioned. Um, this is completely optional. And you can also define skip logic. Uh, skip logic means that based on the answer to the user, you can jump to a different question. So let's say the first question was, pick a place to work out. And let's say the user selected swimming pool. Maybe question number two is not relevant if he selected this, so I can skip to question number three or to one of the outcomes directly. So that's how skip logic works. And there's a lot of other features that you can uh, use here. For example, if you want to design the, the quiz, you can select a different color theme, font, CSS override, which lets you match the quiz exactly to your brand. We have a lot of social integrations. We have seven, eight social integrations. So you can put the social bar or not. Um, you can display Facebook comments, add a message to your Facebook sharing, customize Twitter. We have a lot of integrations. So that means if you're gathering emails, you can, for example, automatically send it to your MailChimp account. Or you can send all the results to your HubSpot or any one of the thousand integrations uh, we offer. We also, uh, for publishers that have a lot of traffic, can integrate um, ads inside. And we can also do pixel tracking, which is very interesting, which means that uh, we can uh, kind of color each user based on the answer to each question. And then we can, for example, remark it uh, in different campaigns based on the answers. So this is uh, the creation of the quiz. I showed you a personality quiz. Now let's say we're happy with it. We want to add it to our site and share it. So we click embed and share. Now we have a few options here. Um, we can either share it using a script if you want to add it to your site, or if your site is a little bit more security aware, you can add it using an iframe. If you're using a WordPress plugin, you can uh, add it um, like the instruction here, or you can also just share the link anywhere through email or integrate with one of our social networks, share it on, on any one of them. Lastly, I'd like to show you some stats. Um, after you run the quiz, you'll get this uh, stats dashboard and you can see everything starting from how many people viewed it, started it, completed it, the average time they spent on the quiz, number of engagement clicks they did and the number of leads. You can see the results of each one of the questions. Um, you can see the response report, drop-off report, outcome report, and more. And you can, of course, also export this information or, as I mentioned, automatically forward it to your marketing automation. In this video, I show you how to easily and quickly create a quiz that brings great results. If you need any help creating your quiz, you can also contact us in the chat support that is located just here when you log in, just here in the bottom right uh, of the screen. Hope you enjoyed this video. Happy quizzing.